Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Dr. Craig Casper from New York Hearing Doctors and the Institute for Hearing and Balance based in New York. And uh, it's been an interesting time over the past couple of weeks or so, and we are all working from home. So what we decided to do was try to add some value and do maybe on a daily basis, we'll see, but as much as possible, some sort of Q&A, uh, some common questions that kind of that we hear in our practice on a day-to-day -day basis from patients who are either dealing with hearing loss, tinnitus, or even balance related issues. And today I have one of my colleagues, Dr. Zweig, uh, who's going to be joining Hello. us. What's up, Dr. Zweig? Hello. How are you? So you're, you're sequestered over there in Brooklyn. I'm here on Long Island. So through the wonder of technology, we have the ability to actually uh, record this and talk to each other. So I'm really psyched. Um, one of the most important things that we can share with people during this period of time is information, I think. Um, yeah. And as you and I have been discussing, the best way to do this is perhaps just do short videos. So that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. So yeah. today, my first question is for you. And this is a question okay. that we get a lot with patients. Um, and one of the most common questions dealing with hearing aids is, do I have to wear my hearing aids all the time, even if yeah. I think I don't need them, right? Yeah. So you as the clinician, you see patients every day. Mm -hmm. What's the answer to that question? Yeah, so I think this is probably the most common question. And oftentimes we'll see uh, that the patient's success with hearing aids will be based off their answer to this question. Um, we, I always counsel patients that they have to remember that wearing hearing aids is a rehabilitation process. Like any other muscle in the body, we need to keep it exercised and malleable and um, active. And same with the brain. With any degree of hearing loss, uh, there is a lack of information or stimulation to the brain that allows the brain to slowly change and lose the ability to, to separate noise from speech very well. And as we know, the most common problem patients report is having more difficulty in a background of noise. So what we've learned from research and what we learned from just patients coming in that are more successful potentially than others is that the more they wear their hearing aids, the more their brain is prepared in those environments that are more challenging because you are re-stimulating the, the brain of sounds it's been missing for so long. And by doing that, you're changing it for the better to learn to separate noise from speech. We process speech and noise with our brain. We don't necessarily process that with our ear. Uh, so we definitely find, and you know, I have a patient, for example, I saw last week that has a, you know severe hearing loss and she's been wearing hearing aids for over 20 years and her ability to do well in challenging environments surpasses some individuals that have much less degree of hearing loss. And I attribute that to, you know, the constant stimulation that she's given her brain over the years, despite, you know, the, the difficulty she's had with her degree of hearing loss over time. So, sure. So, so to sum that up, it's basically, there's kind of a use it or lose it type of a phenomenon, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's, yeah. you know, research has supported that for many years through articles of, you know, we do a hearing test and we test a patient's ability to understand words, even in a perfectly quiet soundproof booth. And, you know, that is the brain's ability to process speech in a way or to at least interpret speech. And we do find that those individuals that are consistently stimulating their brain, they, they, those scores tend to be much better. Sure. Yeah. You know, the one thing that I think is really important for all of us to consider now is, is everybody says, I'll just use them when I think I need them. Actually, that's not so common anymore, but that is one of the things that we might hear in the clinic, mm -hmm. especially in this day and age when we have people who are in their apartments, right? it's really, really important for everybody to be wearing their hearing aids and hearing to the best of their abilities because of yeah. warning signs now, right? Yeah. We're, especially in New York, we're all told to stay inside. And if we cannot hear the doorbell, someone knocking at the door, um, uh, the telephone ringing, whatever it might be, uh, mm -hmm. someone's screaming our name, uh, yeah. it's really important to make sure we're hearing for safety reasons as well. So Sum up what you're telling us is we need to wear hearing aids to keep our brain healthy. It's going to help yep. us hear better in terms of clarity of speech in the long run and our ability to filter speech in a background of noise. Mm -hmm. And that the, the final point based on what's going on in the world today is we should wear our hearing aids all the time for safety as well. Yes. So awesome. So Dr. Mm -hmm. Swag, we're going to keep it short. Uh, I, we're going to try to do these Q and A's on a regular basis with you and also our other colleague, Dr. Ariella Naeem. Uh, we're going to try mm -hmm. to talk to her tomorrow. And maybe one day we'll get all three of us on the line at the same time. And we'll see. I was what we can thinking do. that would be cool, actually. Yeah. So maybe we'll, 
we'll see what happens. So we appreciate all you guys for, for checking this episode out. Uh, hopefully this is of value. If there are specific questions, you can actually send them to us at our, yeah, at our email address, which is info at newyorkhearingdoctors.com. And we'll try to incorporate that in a future video. Keep in mind also, it's hard for us to see patients when we're out of the office, but we do uh, consult with our patients through video conferencing as well. So wonderful platform. We can do some things, but not all. Uh, but thanks again, Dr. Zweig. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care. Bye, guys. All right, take care.